Hi everyone, this is Brianna with Bright Avian and I thank you so much for joining me today. We have um, a meditation and, and some, a little bit more reflective um, than usual, I would say, um, uh, upon the love and the peace that come out of selfless action. Um, we're in the time of um, COVID-19 quarantine and a lot of people we see are putting our, themselves out in the world, out in the um, this dang like dangerous life-threatening situations um, to to serve others, to protect, to save lives, to deliver essentials, to um, feed people, and it's it's just like really um, inspiring and and like it it's such a like selfless service that is. Um, it is, is um, very humbling, very humbling. And I want to thank everyone that is, is doing their part, uh, whether they're saving someone's life, delivering food or any other like deliveries and essentials and um, supporting others, like caring for a sick person or um, them, them themselves like recovering from the illness. I want to thank you for doing your part in integrating us as a community, as a society, as a um, as a form of being with this other form of of life, which is not very um, susceptible right now <laughs> to mutations. But I, I believe soon it will happen, and then we will learn how to live together with this virus and how we can immune ourselves, our body will learn and to protect itself and um, we'll get out of this. We will, we, will, we will get out of this, we'll see better days and until then, um, which is going to be soon, it's going to pass, everything passes, everything passes and so this will too. Um, so the self I want to thank, I thank again, like I have so much appreciation for every one of you. Um, for everyone that is staying home, for everyone that is out, for everyone that this is overcoming and learning and helping us learn and become, you know, better. And, and this is, in a way, it's part of evolution. And it's a way of, of um, you know, evolving on, a many, on, on many levels physical, emotional, like psychological. Um, this virus has, has opened such a, a challenge in front of us, which is, you know, challenge is always um, an opportunity in disguise, right? So with that, I wanna um, focus on the selfless action today and um, remember this like a, a selfless, doesn't matter like, when it was, when you did it, whether it was yesterday, the day before, like a few minutes before you turned this video on. Um, I want to remind us about that, that we all are capable of doing this selfless action. And in a sense, like selfless in the sense that you are ex expecting nothing in return, right? Like there's like you're putting yourself before, uh, bef like you, others' needs before others' need, before your needs. And um, and to expand on the moment that in in that very moment of the doing that action, um, and if it feels like uh, we will now move into the meditation, um, we as we are um, in that very moment, you can find you can find a single place to uh, for your gaze to rest, um, so it doesn't wander around. Um, but it, it's, it helps if you just focus on one thing um, or you soften your gaze or you close your eyes and it's also very helpful to have your back up straight um, so the energy, your vital energy can flow and the, um, the um, you're, you're aware, you know, you are present and aware of everything that is happening. Um, so. You can sit with your feet flat on the floor. Um, you can be on a chair, you can be on the couch, you can have cushions. I have a cushion underneath 
um, like a few questions actually, and um, that they're supporting me and, and uh, helping my, my spine sit up straight. And um, my arms are open uh, to receive and to remember really the, um, um, a moment that uh, created love. And I am choosing like selfless action, one because it's being um, very magnified, that experience right now by the virus. And it's also like helping us, I think it, it's a great opportunity to help us remember um, that as we do these actions with, that we, we, we expect no return from, um, how much joy and how much bliss that gives us. That's like how much like just satisfaction and, and how much like, it's not like really satisfaction, fulfillment. I would say fulfillment like that, that comes from within for just because you're doing something because it's, it's the, the right thing to do or because it's the, 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 the thing that you feel drawn to do, like drawn to do. Um, and, and the love in that very moment, like if you just feel it, like in the moment of, of, of um, doing that action, it can be a smile, it can be a gift, it can be a kind word that you have given to someone in, in a moment of a crisis in a moment of, of weakness, in a moment of um, anxiety, in a moment of, of uh, suffering. And that, um, that act has given the spark of, of so much love and compassion towards the other person, have connected you with them in a, such a profound level of you know like heart to heart because like from a human being to another human being um, and and how peaceful that is and how life supporting that is because it creates happiness and happiness is life supporting force and the joy that that springs out of it so that selfless action it really reminds us um, how beautiful life is um, and how thankful we are just if we just for a moment if we step aside and we observe like two human beings uh, helping each other giving each other love and support and care and affection how beautiful that is and you know, just from as we observe that that interaction, that relationship between the two of them, um, see the joy and the bliss of that very action of, of observing, and how it creates, it it expands the peace and the love. That they're always there. We always have access to to our essential nature, which is love and, and peace and kind kindness. And as as that expands when through this action, as it expands to the other person, let's in our mind, in our heart, feel it, see it, how it expands to the other person, and from there it ripples out to to all your surroundings and it can be something you you feel as a warm embrace or as a soft blanket that wraps the two of you and that blanket is full of love and care and and appreciation and understanding and compassion and it grows out from both of you to the world that surrounds you, to the room that you're in, to the block and the city you are right now, it expands out to the country and to the whole planet. And how 
thankful we are for being able to create that action. How the universe has aligned so much, so many things for us. How it has given us the strength of our bodies, of our minds, of our hearts. You know, how um, it, and it may be a financial support, it might be moral support. How we have been supported at this very moment so we can support others and how that expands out to the world and support its, its own like nature. And as we see this wrapping like the whole universe, we 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 realize that we have become we have gone beyond years beyond the, the anxiety and in that moment it was just this love and peace that we expanded to that other person in need and in that very moment we were we are and we always are the nurturer of the universe and it changes. One day we're a nurturer, another day we are the receiver. But it's all this flow of energy that support us. And it changes. That's the beauty of it. The flow that goes and comes and comes and goes. A mantra that comes to my mind is Om Vardhanam Nama. I am the nurturer, the nourisher of the universe. Om Vardhanam Nama. I am the nourisher of the universe. Before everything. Before we give and receive, we are. So, if you want to continue repeating silently to yourself, I am, just in English, I am, silently to yourself. knowing that you are all perspectives. In one moment you are the nurturer, in one another you are the receiver. And these are just the roles, the momentary the momentarily roles that, that you play. But in your core you are all perspectives. You are all roles. You are. I am. I am. And if any other thought comes to you and, and reminds you of something that uh, has happened or needs to happen or whatever it may be, remind yourself again. Get yourself back to the moment of, of being, the presence of being. Right? Repeating, I am, I am, I am. You'll hear a soft chime at the, at the beginning and the end of the meditation. Just continue silently repeating it to yourself, I am, I am, I am.
please keep your eyes closed. And let go of the repetition. Rest for a moment. Rest in your body. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Feel the tension, the little tension that arises with your inhale and how your body, your whole body relaxes with your exhale. Now set intentions for perfect health and we start with, with our body and the intention for it to be healthy and joyful and energetic. Joyful, energetic body. Repeat it silently to yourself. Joyful, energetic body. Loving, compassionate heart. Place your attention in the center of your chest and continue repeating a few times. Loving, compassionate heart. Now move your attention to your forehead, right in between your eyebrows, your third eye, and repeat to yourself, reflective, alert mind, reflective of my soul, alert mind, repeat it silently to yourself. And now move your attention to the crown chakra, the top of your head. And think it to yourself. Lightness and playfulness of being. Lightness and playfulness of being. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Let go of all the intentions. Trust the universe. Everything is the way it should be. And, it, and trust that it's for you, for your support. The universe is for me, and so is everything else. It supports me, and so is everything else. Take a deep breath in, and a deep breath out. Whenever you feel comfortable, and if you have your eyes closed, feel free to open them. And the highest in me recognizes and bows to the highest in you. Thank you for being, for doing what you gotta do. And for all the love that you are. Please continue to be healthy and safe. Namaste.